So uh, today you will meet your Georgian, Moldovan and Herzegovina and Bos Bosnia Herzegovina yes. partners. Yes. What's yes. your main message, especially from Bucharest after the 14 years? Uh, the, the main message is we are here, we have a responsibility, we need to be working on the NATO enlargement and of course it's not an easy task but uh, we need to reiterate uh, that, that we have this kind of responsibility and uh, yesterday uh, we had an informal meeting with Dmitro Kuleba and the message was all the same. We need to not let the grey zone be here to be taken over by either forces once we made this kind of commitment, once we take, take this part. And of course the Czech presidency to the EU, the Czech Republic as such, is stand supporter of, of NATO enlargement for all of these, all of these countries. Sorry? How is it possible that Hungary still did not ratify the... Um, uh, Ukraine, uh, no, no, the Swedish and Finnish uh, uh, membership. Okay, I'm not here to answer for Hungary, but I would like to say that yesterday it was a clear message all around the table from many member states that this is something which uh, needs to change. Okay. Uh, you will discuss China today. Sorry. You will discuss China today. Uh, what are your key takes on the relationship with China? Uh, so. We need to assess China in certain domain as a risk and be ready for that, for those hybrid threats. Uh, we need to understand what does it mean in the field of cyber security and many different areas. So that, that's, uh, that's my main concern. And um, uh, the supply chains, chips and economic interdependence um, is creating a situation where we need to be ready also to defend our principles and our role. Okay, I need to run. Thank you very much. Thank Goodbye. you. Thank you, Mr. Minister.